What up everybody? Back again with our negative number unit. Today we're going to be looking at the opposite of an opposite. So let's dive under the water and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to analyze why the opposite of a negative is a positive. So let's start by rewinding back to our last lesson. In our last lesson we were looking at opposites, right? So let's take a look at 5 and negative 5. Right, And then we recognize numbers can be opposite if they're on opposite sides of zero and they're the same amount of units away from zero. So here we have positive fives, which is one, two, three, four, five units to the right of zero. And then we had negative five, which is one, two, three, four, five units to the left of zero. And we talked about this and we said the opposite of a positive is a negative and the opposite of a negative is a positive, right? Because you had to be on the opposite side of zero and be the same amount of units away. So this is what we talked about last lesson. Let's take it one step further for today. Okay, so just like we talked about, we said the opposite of a positive is negative, right? And the opposite of a negative is a positive. And those arrows are just what we just drew. It just shows you the opposites together. So mathematically, what this is saying is we had a five, right? Here we go. And then we wanted to make it the opposite. So we put a negative sign in front of it, right? That's how we turned five into its opposite. We did start with five. Then we wanted to make it negative five. So we put the negative sign in front of it. Well, if we start right here with our negative five, okay? and we wanna make that the opposite, well, we learned last lesson that if you wanted to make something the opposite, you could write a negative sign in front of it. So if we put this in parentheses here, and we want the opposite of negative five, all we have to do is write a negative sign in front of that, and the opposite of negative five is positive five opposite of a negative is a positive. This is how you write it mathematically, okay? And if you look at this, it's gonna be a really big concept for you, especially when you get into adding and subtracting these integers. A negative of a negative is a positive, right? Because the opposite of a negative five would be positive. So this is how you would write that. Let's take a look at an I do problem. So it says, what is the opposite of 10? Okay, so the here I have 10, and if I want to make it into an opposite, right, I would just put a negative sign in front of it, right? That makes a lot of sense. So if I had 10 and I wanted the opposite, negative 10 would be my answer. So I can connect those right ooh, like that. What is the opposite of the opposite of 35? All right, well, here I have 35. If I wanna turn it into the opposite of 35, I would go ahead and put a negative sign right there, right? So now I have the opposite of 35. Now I wanna know the opposite of that. So I'm gonna put this in parentheses and I'm gonna put another negative sign right here because I wanted the opposite of the opposite of 35. So that's a lot of words, but if you think through it and you think to yourself, okay, I know the opposite is gonna be the negative sign because that's how we say things are opposite. I need two of them because I had two opposites. I need two negative signs. Now I need to plot it. So if I have negative 35 right here and I want the opposite of that, that would be positive 35. So the opposite of an opposite is a positive or two negatives are going to make a positive. So I'd put those right there and then I can connect them. Okay, let's do one more down here. So I want the opposite of negative 20. So I'm starting with negative 20, okay? And I want the opposite of that, which means I wanna put a negative sign in front of it. And if I have the opposite of negative 20, that would obviously be positive 20. So this isn't really too difficult to understand as far as, okay, I know the opposite of a negative is a positive. That's not the confusing part here. The confusing part for some of you guys might be writing down the extra negative sign and looking at it mathematically, okay? That can be a little bit confusing, but if you think about it, again, it's common sense. The opposite of a negative is a positive. So here I'm starting with negative 20. 
I wanted the opposite of that, so that's why I had to put it in parentheses. The reason you would put it in parentheses is just to separate it because this looks a little bit confusing, right? This looks like you might have been writing the big negative sign and picked up your pencil. So you put it in parentheses to group the negative 20 by itself, and then you wanted the opposite of that. So the parentheses are important if you're writing down two negative signs. And then the opposite of that would be positive 20, and we would connect those. Ooh. All right, so let's take a look at this we do problem. Let's complete this chart together. So I'm starting with eight. The opposite of this number, okay, so if I start with eight, the opposite of it would be negative eight, right? So I put the negative sign in front of the positive and it would make it negative eight. Now the reason you don't have to write the parentheses here, okay, is because you don't have two negative signs. It's not gonna be as confusing visually to look at if you just write the negative eight instead of writing with the parentheses. So now if I wanted the opposite of that, so now I have negative eight, that was the opposite of my number, and now I want the opposite of the opposite. So I'm gonna put this in parentheses, I'm gonna put a negative sign in front of it to show that I want the opposite of the opposite, and that of course would be positive, which makes sense. The opposite of positive eight would be negative eight, and the opposite of negative eight would be back to positive eight. So now I'm starting with negative 12, okay, let me write that down. And I want the opposite of that, so I'm gonna put it in parentheses and put a negative sign in front of it to, to mathematically show that I want the opposite of the opposite, and that would be a positive 12. Now if I want the opposite of the opposite, my opposite number is 12, now I want the opposite of that, so I put a negative sign in front of it, and it would be negative 12. It makes sense, if you start with negative 12, you go to the opposite, it'd be positive 12. If you went back to the opposite of that, that would again be negative 12. Here we had another negative 12, so I'm just gonna cross that out. We don't need to do that one together. And let's move on to the challenge zone. Here we have a number line, and here we have a lot of opposites. So we gave you the number line, so that way you can start with what you have and you can keep moving back and forth visually if you need help. But go ahead and try to find the opposite of the opposite of the opposite of the opposite of negative 10. Just like a you try problem, you can pause it, you can try it by yourself. If you're not ready yet, that's all right, you can just do it with us when we go over it. When you do get it done, push play and you can check your mastery. So hopefully you just paused it and you are ready to check your work. So what you're starting with is the first thing in parentheses. You're starting with the negative 10. So I'm gonna start all the way back here at negative 10. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work my way out. So the opposite of negative 10 would be a positive 10, okay? So I'm gonna cross these two out, I'm already there. If I wanted the opposite of the positive 10, I'd go back to the negative 10 and be right there, so now I'm done with that one. If I wanted the opposite of that, I'd go whoop, all the way back to the positive 10, cross that one out. And then if I wanted to have the opposite of that, I'd go all the way back to the negative 10, and so the opposite of the opposite of the opposite of the opposite of negative 10 is negative 10. I started with what was inside the parentheses, okay, what we had grouped originally as negative 10, and then I just worked my way out one opposite or one negative sign at a time. I just showed you here on the number line to show you going back and forth. You don't have to use the number line. Sometimes it gets confusing, especially when you have so many lines on it, but I just kind of wanted to show you the steps as I was doing them. So here's what we want you to take with you, okay? If you don't take anything else with you today, if you forget everything we said, all the bad jokes, all the sound effects, take this with you. The negative symbol can either mean the opposite of an integer or it can indicate a negative number, right? Which means you're just gonna be moving to the left of the zero. So it can be directional or it can tell you that you are doing the opposite, all right? We worked with both of those today. Take that with you. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate you spending your time with us. Check out our negative number song. You can check out the rest of our playlist. We'd love to have you join us for those lessons. Again, please subscribe, comment, like the video. We'd love to have you join our Instructor Beats family. You can check us out on all the social media sites. Thank you so much. Instructor Beats, out.